What's up everybody? Let's look at a couple of examples and see if we can not determine molecular polarity for a variety of molecules. Okay, let's start with a molecule of HF or hydrogen fluoride. First thing I'm gonna do is look at the electronegativities between the two atoms. They're both non-metals, but their electronegativities are fairly different. And so although they will share the electrons, they're not gonna be shared equally. So if I were to include a bond dipole, that dipole would face in the direction of the atom of fluorine, the more electronegative of the two. Because there are only two atoms in this molecule, the molecule overall has a net dipole. In other words, part of this molecule has a partially positive region and part of this molecule has a partially negative region. Now, I'm gonna include the electrostatic potentials to help you better visualize where that partial negative and partial positive region will be. The partial negative region is gonna be over here on the side with fluorine, and the partial positive region is gonna be over here on the side with hydrogen. And again, the reason we would expect that is because the fluorine atom is the more electronegative of the two, hogging the electrons, creating a slightly negative region. Okay, for our next example, let's take a look at a molecule of nitrogen. A molecule of nitrogen is two atoms of nitrogen covalently bonded together. Again, the first thing I wanna do is look at the electronegativities and how they compare. Because they're identical atoms, they have identical electronegativities. Therefore, the electrons are going to be shared equally. If I try to identify a bond dipole in this molecule, there isn't any, again, because the electrons are shared equally. Additionally, because there are just two atoms, there is no molecular dipole overall. If I were to include the electrostatic potential, recognize that overall there is no partial negative or partial positive region because the electrons are being shared equally between the two atoms. For our next example, let's take a look at a molecule of ammonia or NH3. Let's compare the electronegativities of hydrogen and nitrogen. Notice they have slightly different electronegativities and therefore they are not gonna share their electrons equally. If I were to look at the dipoles along each of the bonds, in each case, notice that the dipole faces the more electronegative nitrogen atom. And although not shown here, remember that ammonia is gonna have a lone pair of electrons up here on the molecule. Overall then, there will be a net dipole on a molecule of ammonia in which the negative region is located here by that lone pair on the ammonia molecule and a slightly positive region down here by the hydrogen. To help you better visualize that, I'm gonna include the electrostatic potential for this molecule. Again, notice slightly negative region up here by the nitrogen atom slightly positive region down here by the hydrogens. And the last example I wanna look at when it comes to molecular polarity is a molecule of water. In H2O, again, we're gonna compare the electronegativities and recognize that the difference in electronegativities is gonna cause some unequal sharing between the atoms. If I were to look at just the bonds individually, recognize that the dipoles would face the oxygen, the more electronegative, in each case. Looking at the molecule as a whole, there will be an overall net dipole with a partial negative region up at the top near the oxygen atom and a slightly positive region down by the hydrogen. Again, I'll include the electrostatic potential to help you better visualize where the partially negative and partially positive regions are on a molecule of water. 